Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union, part of the Prime Union family of alliances. And uh, just giving you guys an update on uh, how Prime Union is doing. And uh, we do have a leaderboard event this weekend. It is the uh, leaderboard event for uh, a four star slash uh, for the Autobots or a four star uh, Ripper Snapper for the Decepticons. And uh, that's if you finish in the top five. And then uh, prizes are awarded for uh, two and three stars as we go as well. But as you can see here, we are in the top five. Uh, we'll try to take it pretty chill this time around. Since there's no sixth team competing with us for the top five, we just, uh, you know, enjoying some time to relax. We don't have to keep uh, grinding away points constantly. And, uh, and yeah, we'll be awarded a four-star slash uh, at the end of this event and uh, we're also in a war right now, which is pretty crazy. We um, we locked up with uh, Primus Command in war. So uh, Cybertron War, that's uh, two of the top five alliances in the world. Uh, both of us have family members uh, joining us uh, for the leaderboard challenge, since not all 40 of us can, uh, can put up uh, 50k plus uh, points on this given weekend. So yeah, like uh, usually uh, we, we don't have... Uh, the full alliance participation every time we do a leaderboard event uh, like this. We typically, and see it here, I was able to do 225 against Primus. And uh, so what we have to do is we, we put out a, a notification to the rest of our family alliances. So we've got over 10 alliances in our family, Prime Union, Prime Nation, Prime um, Republic, Prime Syndicate. can't remember all the names anymore. On top of my head, Prime Lost Light, Prime Warriors, and uh, and so all these prime alliances come and uh, and can apply to join us for uh, the leaderboard challenge, and uh, yeah, so there's your opportunity to to join a top five team in the world, and get some good experience in battle, and um, have a lot of fun uh, power leveling our bots uh, together as a team. So as you can see here, we're at two million three hundred and forty nine thousand points. Uh, the top prize is a million, so we got all of the event prizes awarded, 800 shards, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, so it's been a really fun weekend of just, uh, you know, big war and a good war win. It looks like we're going to win this war. And uh, I'm just trying to level up my uh, Optimus Prime 5-star to level 55. I've got uh, 240k to go, so it's uh, 10 attacks left. So I'm going to be able to do that pretty quick. And uh, Star Saber is also very close to maxing out. I'm going to be very sad about that. Star Saber is uh, one of my favorite bots in the game. And I'm only 113k away from maxing out Saber here. So let's go ahead and get into some battles here. And, uh, and I'll go max out this uh, Saber for you guys. So we're going to uh, do a Zone 12 tax. I like Zone 12 because you get a decent amount of points for the team which is about 140 to 150 that 50 points per attack. So that adds up to the leaderboard total. Here you go, 145 points. And this time we're only getting 4,500 uh, XP rewards per bot. So uh, that's for, uh, I'm guessing, eight bots total. Yeah, I have eight bots in my uh, in my shuttle. So 4,500 um, into, into uh, one or two bots will be uh, 32. 24, 30, oh, so almost 40,000 points. It's not bad, right? It's close to uh, uh, 40k, and uh, and uh, if I only deploy two bots, that's going to be 20k per bot. So let's uh, let's get into action here. I try not to deploy Saber if I can help it, because the Saber is for me is just uh, an instant win. Uh, it's pretty hard for me to lose with Saber in Zone 12, especially with that Megatronus core uh, equipped. So uh, let's just go ahead and let's. Uh, attack this base and uh, this probably wasn't the best way to attack it but you know it's uh, always fun to uh, to try out new strategies and uh, do things a little bit differently than I would normally do it because uh, it just kind of gets boring attacking the same way uh, each time so this one's a little bit tighter of a battle here I'm going to uh, focus on getting rid of this laser. Those lasers deal the most damage uh, to the team. So that's it. 
As you can see, Saber does so much damage and Prime is pretty uh, beefy as well. So they're both dealing a lot of damage to, uh, to the HQ. And there you go, I'm very close to leveling Saber up to max. So uh, that's uh, pretty awesome. Another uh, leveling uh, team that I use for uh, leaderboard challenges like this is uh, I use uh, Prime with uh, Alito, I'm sorry, Windblade and Skyburst. So I'll uh, do the same thing in Zone 12. And instead of deploying two, I'll deploy three here, three, my three five-star bots here that I want to use uh, to power level. I use all three of them in uh, my rushing uh, war line. So I want to try and level them up as... Uh, Kind of uh, a little bit here and there. I, I'm not. Uh, I don't need to get them all to level 60 max. Um, I just uh, don't have that. Uh, wish I had that time to do it. It's a lot of fun, but um, for me, I work on the weekends. So, you know, I'm just uh, here to uh, get a strong war team assembled together, so I don't let down Prime Union in war. And uh, I've been doing pretty good in war so far. I've uh, been able to 225 almost everyone uh, consistently over the last uh, couple weeks and um, that's thanks to having uh, some decent five stars in the lineup and uh, good strategists at Prime Union to help uh, help coach us towards uh, victory so as you can see most of my five star bots are not maxed out bots they're usually in their uh, level 55 or so around there so they're pretty strong and uh, they're good enough to, to beat a max base if you know what you're doing so that's one of the power leveling lines that I use, and uh, we'll go back and uh, show you some more of the power leveling themes that I use uh, for an event like this. Uh, typically, uh, if you want to get fast points though, and since I'm not worried about a six team, or, or Prime Union is not worried about a six team uh, joining us in the top five, uh, because only the top five get the rewards of the four star, uh, I have a little bit more time to play with different line combinations. And uh, so I'm using Skyburst with uh, Skylinks and Ratchet here. Here's another power leveling line that I use in uh, Zone 12. So as you can see there, it costs a little bit of fuel to recharge your fuel cells. It's pretty expensive. It's 800 coins for 50 fuel. But, uh, you know, if you buy a Supreme Battle Bundle every now and then, you get 30,000 coins. It, uh, it gives you quite a bit of... Uh, of uh, power leveling that you can do for your team. Now this is a good team actually just for cup and because if I was to deploy Skylinks it's, I'm gonna have to go through this bottom part here which is uh, time consuming so to save time I just uh, that's why I have a cup on my team for all situations like this. So a couple just go to the top and then that's it. He's gonna hammer away on the HQ And that's uh, all she wrote in uh, 40 seconds. But I fast forwarded that, so it's really like a, a quick battle to get points for the team. That's why a four star cup is a must have. If you don't have a four star cup, three star cup works as well. You just have to be more picky with uh, with the base selections and maybe bring another bot along with uh, with a three star cup, like Springer, for example. Springer and cup are pretty deadly uh, combination. Uh, Springer is just like an extra boost of health and uh, and damage for Cup. And I should be leveling my Springer more, but uh, I'm just so jealous of everyone's 5-star Springer, so just don't really feel like leveling up Springer too much uh, as a 4-star. My 4-star Springer is already level 53, I think. It's good enough. It does the job that I need it to do. So uh, I'm trying to focus more on uh, important bots that are crucial to uh, just to beating the top f bases in the world. And bots that you want uh, to focus on uh, that are the most useful, I find, are ones that can do a lot of damage. So Skylinks is one of those guys. And here we go again. There's another base that's very annoying. These time traps kind of suck uh, when you're trying to power level. They're, don't get me wrong, they're not hard to beat. I find them very easy, actually, to beat. And it's just time consuming because you've got to like go through this annoying, these annoying walls and, uh, and, and uh, that just takes up time out of uh, your power leveling uh, you know, weekend here. So you can, as you can see there, you just want to create a division within the walls so that uh, the, your bots don't get stuck beating all those walls. 
that's the secret to beating these kind of time trap bases. You don't want to actually be breaking through the walls. And now that I've destroyed every defense inside the walls, my bots are not going to work on the walls. They're going to go right around. So there we go. Now I have a, a clean path to the headquarters. Just going to uh, just let Skylings go nuts on that uh, headquarters. And each time that I make uh, this combination of flame and uh, the plasma shroud, I'm doing almost 6,000 damage to the headquarters. Well, well half, well, about 3,000 damage to the headquarters. And so the headquarters doesn't stand a chance when Skylinks gets in range. As you can see there, I took down that uh, Zone 12 base with just two runs on the HQ. And that's without any uh, boosts or anything like that. So that's how you take down a time trap. You need uh, strong bots that can uh, destroy those honeycombs and, uh, and range bots so that uh, you don't get stuck trying to beat through those walls because that just wastes all that time and uh, uh, out, of your, uh, out of your leveling. You want to try and get points as fast as you can so you're not sitting in front of your phone all night long. And uh, definitely those that have partners, boyfriends or girlfriends, you, you're not going to want to sit there in front, of the, in front of the game trying to hack away to get points uh, all, all day long, right? You want fast, quick teams to get your points, take breaks, and then uh, get back to it when you have a chance. So here's another fun power leveling line that I like to use. This one is uh, Wheeljack with Swoop, and I also use... Um, swoop, Will Jack, and a, and a gunner. So uh, Jazz is one of my favorite gunners in the game because of that AOE damage that he does. It's it's a nice, cool orbital strike, and mine only does three thousand six hundred ninety-seven damage, uh, which is which is good, but not uh, not good enough for say uh, Cybertron level battles because uh, Jazz is just too weak as a four star unless you get him leveled up some more. So. Uh, just to put into reference, if I want to destroy a max laser, that's uh, 3,700, so I'm almost there. I'm pretty close to that, but um, in reality, uh, I, want to, uh, I want to be able to do 4,100 damage so I can take out maxed mortars. So, uh, the reason why I just deployed Cup again is because I saw the base design was very weak in the back, and uh, my Cup is only level 56. I want to get my Cup a little bit stronger for war. So I went ahead and I went ahead and I just used Cup and I soloed Cup. So he got over forty thousand experience just for him. So imagine if you can find a few bases uh, in a row that uh, you Cup can solo in Zone Twelve. That's forty thousand plus experience each time that I'm getting. So one hundred twenty k. So boom, there we go. We won the war against Primus Command, and that's uh, another fifteen thousand Spark, three hundred thousand shards. So. Um, those are, uh, I'll, I'll do another attack for you guys uh, without cup, just because, uh, you know, you've probably seen enough cup battles here. But just, uh, I can't resist when I see uh, a good base that uh, that is cup friendly. It only costs me 30 something coins to recharge cup, so it's a cheap way of, of getting points for the team. It doesn't cost me a ton, because if I was to uh, coin a whole uh, bunch of bots, that's going to be, uh, you know, 30 something coins per bot. So that could cost you over 200 coins if you're gonna if you're going to uh, do a whole team. Now this is another juicy cup base actually, but I'll show you what I do uh, without cup. And again, it's a stupid time trap base which I hate. There, uh, so I'm gonna have to. That's why I brought bring Jazz along with his AOE damage there, and I'm just gonna eat through this time trap to save time. So, yeah, so you can see there that uh, Jazz is overpowered. My four-star Jazz is overpowered for a Zone 12 base. Uh, ate through all those walls like butter. But that's the point. You want to you want to beat a base quickly at this level and get points for your team as fast as possible. And I find that Zone 12 is a perfect mix combination for me. I want I, I get the points very fast and I get decent experience. As well, so Zone 12, I find it's a perfect um, combination of, of of experience and points for the team. Everyone's different, right? So if your bots aren't as strong as mine, Zone 12, Zone 10 might be better for you guys. So I would focus on Zone 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 10, and Zone 10 is still a pretty good zone. I, I do that for my my lower level teams uh, on my other accounts. So for example, I'll I'll just do a solo bot in Zone 10 or something like that. And uh, 
and then they'll get me 20,000 experience just for that one bot. So you get at least 10k experience if you're using two bots in zone 10. So if you have a weaker saber, just do those uh, same things that I did there earlier uh, with, with saber. But in zone 10, you'll get a 10k experience per bot with two bots. And that'll level up your, your saber pretty quick. So uh, that's uh, just some of the gameplay. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to just keep uh, hammering away here. As you know, I'm trying to get to uh, max Saber. So uh, please stick around and you'll see uh, me max out uh, a bot finally for the first time. I've never uh, been able to max out any uh, bot before. And uh, so this is pretty exciting for me and sad at the same time because I really tried to, uh, to uh, save my Saber as much as I could. But uh, it's just uh, too much fun, and uh, he's just too damn efficient. Like, I'll show you again what I do here. So I'm just going to take out that that little build bot thing so I can go and do a saber strike right up to that top defense. And I took out that whole left side. And if I want to do some fun here, I'll uh, go down here and take out the bottom defenses here. And then I have enough points for another swipe to the top again. So you can see there, Saber just annihilated this whole Zone 12 base. And then Prime is just fodder for me at the bottom there. He's just going to distract uh, the outpost bots while my Saber uh, finishes off the headquarters. So that's a very fast attack if I'm not explaining things. That's just 20 seconds. Boom. Get it, get it done. Get 20-something uh, thousand experience per bot. And uh, away we go. So uh, there we go. I've got uh, maybe uh, three more attacks left, three or four more attacks left to do with Saber to, uh, to finish and max off Saber here. So let's just keep going here and we'll uh, keep going at Saber here. Hopefully uh, we'll do that at zone, zone 12 again. I'll try and find a base maybe that I can just solo with Saber for you guys. So uh, I don't have to torture you and, help and, and then you don't have to watch <laughs> another three or four more. Uh, saber attacks to uh, get a max saber here. So again, this is a, a zone 12 base, and now I'm getting uh, 5,500 experience. So as you can see there, it varies uh, base to base. And I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to it, because um, it's just uh, it's just a random generated number here. So let's uh, let's get into it here. This would be a good base for me to solo with Alita 1 as well. So that's why I bring uh, a combination of bots to, uh, to solo bases, just in case uh, um, I want to give something, somebody else uh, more experience instead of uh, Saber. But see there, I've got the, the flame on Saber here. So he's just, uh, he's attacking the two bots, but he's also killing that HQ at the same time. And uh, so if that the Megatronus core is just so beautiful. It's uh, one of the best cores in the game uh, for Saber, and uh, that is a Prime Core that's only available through Prime Shards, Prime Core Shards that are that you can earn through weekend events. So now I'm up to 962. That's only uh, one more attack if I just solo again with Saber. So I'll, uh, I'll try to solo again for you guys so we can uh, max out Saber together here. Okay, cross your fingers. Hopefully this is an easy base so that I can get uh, 40k experience for Saber and max him out. So uh, we look at this base here, and it's uh, it's not a super easy base, but uh, it is only zone 12, and my saber can take out any defense in zone 12. So I think that if I just do what I normally do, swipe one side, and then swipe the other side, we should uh, have this done. And so pathing is also crucial if you want to be able to solo a base. You want Saber to path towards the HQ. But since I've got enough points for a third strike, I don't have to worry about pathing. And there you go. His his uh, his swipe just killed both of those outpost bots. And I uh, took down the HQ pretty quick. 
So that's uh, Saber Solo in Zone 12. And that should be enough experience to max out my Saber. Oh my god! <laughs> 2,000 more experience to max him out. So you saw there, I've got to do one more attack with Saber and uh, to max him out. So let's go ahead and let's... Let's go ahead and let's uh, use a team uh, with Saber for the victory here. Because I can get, uh, I don't, I only need to to get uh, Saber 2000 experience here. So I'm going to do that Zone 13 again. And bring a few more bots along for the ride for fun, as I only need 2000 experience. So there you go, I could actually just uh, give everybody some experience for fun and uh, wipe out this base. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just have a little bit of fun and uh, crush this base with a bunch of bots. And uh, so there you go. I'm going to use Saber and I'm going to use Alita 1. They both have very similar uh, specials. But, Sa but Alita 1's special, it only damages a smaller surface area uh, for, for less uh, points. So uh, it can be really useful um, on defense as well because of that stun ability and it is cheaper. And then here you go. I've got Bumblebee. Uh, I really haven't given Bumblebee much love. My Bumblebee is only level 48, so I'm trying to get Bumblebee to at least level 51. That's the goal right now at this point of the game for me. I'm just trying to uh, get my bots to to uh, level 51, and uh, pretty much at level 51, a lot of them are pretty serviceable. You can have a lot of fun uh, and using them in different situations when you get them to that level. So there you go. I've got a max Star Saber now. It's really sad uh, that he's maxed out. I won't be able to use him anymore. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth it. So you can see there, a max Star Saber is at 3,169 power at level 60, level 10 Blazing Storm, 2,500 damage uh, to every single defense that it touches or every building it touches. And uh, yeah. That's uh, that's pretty gross. I could take out a uh, a mortar at, at HQ um, at HQ 14 now. So um, yeah, it's too bad that we don't have another level for Saber. I'm thinking that uh, they're going to give us uh, more levels because uh, we do have a um, an upgrade coming for the for the lab. So I'll show you here. The research lab here is this ugly orange color. And uh, the rest of my base is all white. So if that lab um, gets an upgrade, we might be able to level our bots to level 60, uh, one. So that uh, will be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that because I love using Saber and uh, I'm going to be petitioning for uh, Space Hip to give us uh, that uh, next research lab as soon as possible because a lot of my, uh, my, my colleagues are, are having bots at level 60 as well. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's about time we get, we get, uh, another, uh, level for our bots. And so, uh, we did beat Primus Command today. Really uh, happy about that. Proud of our guys. We had a bunch of players, uh, join us, uh, from Prime Nation and from other alliances, uh, Prime Warriors, Prime Nation, Prime Lost Light, and, uh, Prime Dinobots as well. So, all those uh, strong, awesome alliances. And sorry if I missed any other uh, Prime Alliance that joined us for this leaderboard, but uh, you guys are great. Thanks for helping out. And uh, we're gonna get that four star slash in uh, approximately five hours and 58 minutes. So um, that's uh, that's basically um, leaderboard playing with uh, Alpha Prime of Prime Union. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's a long one. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, there you go. I'm at uh, 49,787 points. So I had to work a lot this weekend, so i uh, got a lot more work to do. I'm trying to get, well, definitely will get into the 50s, hopefully get to 60K 
uh, 50, or at least 55k by the end of the night. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, take note that uh, we'll be doing uh, random draws soon. Uh, just give you guys uh, some uh, gift cards. I appreciate it for, uh, appreciate you watching my videos and, uh, yeah, and uh, for all your support. All right, thanks a lot. Peace out.